Hey, we're right back with uh, Brian and Janine, and uh, we're getting some great information. We're now talking about the Community Service Alliance Group, and we're going to let Brian continue on with the information that he was given of what it was, where, how long it's been in existence, and go from there. Well, I think that the, the two groups that we spoke about, Indian River Council for Community Services and Community Business Alliance, came together in November 2015 because we did have uh, very similar mission statements um, and now actually combined um, our mission statement is to share information and educate members about the services and programs in Indian River County and what the county has to offer. So it's a combination of both nonprofit and for-profit uh, organizations, business owners and such that can uh, not only be able to give back to the community but in turn be able to help each other through networking amongst each other. Mm -hmm. Um, and we we have a fun time doing it. We actually uh, meet uh, once a month for lunch, uh, currently at Oak Harbor, um, and we uh, typically get about 30 to 50 people in a room. And again, it's a mixture of nonprofits and for profits. And we do have an educational piece, a speaker, and it gives us time to be able to see what's going on in the community and um, how we can uh, really help each other. And actually, uh, this two years ago, well, I guess we could say last year, but the second annual, um, we started a family fall festival, the Community Services Alliance, abbreviation is CSA. Uh, we had last year our first family fall festival out at Summer Crush Winery. And the purpose of this is to be able to give nonprofit organizations an opportunity uh, to apply to be the uh, beneficiary of the funds that get raised at this event. Um, we had a great time last year. Uh, we had, what, about 150, 200 people? Yeah, we, we did have a, quite a, a big group out there last year at the winery and um, brought in quite a bit of cheer. You want to tell us a little bit about the uh, things that we did at the event? Sure, I can tell you about last year. Um, we had a blast. So we had a pie eating contest that I honestly didn't anticipate as much mess or as much laughter as we received. But we had, I think, a good 20 people participate and um, that brought on a, a slew It does of become giggles. messy. And it, it is a mess. Brian did participate and he, I'd say, he that guy a still great got some it, pie yeah. coming out all over the place. Uh, that so. makes for great video and pictures. Uh, we'll be promoting more and more in the next coming weeks. So watch as our Facebook page starts pushing out um, the memories from last year in anticipation of what we're going to offer this year. Um, but yeah, we had. We had a really great time last year. We had a live band, and uh, that was the Wesley Bowman. No, Thomas, Thomas Wesley, Wesley Bowman, Bowman and, and friends. friends. And they came out, and they, they jammed with us all afternoon. We had a variety of games going on. We had a hula hoop contest. Well, that would put the 1950s to shame, John. Those, they were all over. Adults and children alike were hooping and looping. Um, I was I was quite surprised at some of the talent out there. <laughs> I think I think John's going to give them a run for his money. For the <laughs> yes. <next. laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. So, um, um, tell us a little bit about what's going to happen this year, and also, you know, I'm sure somebody that's watching might want to get involved with your um, group as well. So. We give them contact numbers so that they want to join the organization or later on we'll give a number for those that want to participate. Let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen in the year of 2017. Well, uh, so far it is happening al already. Um, our group is very much uh, committed to putting on the second annual event. Um, and we've had various meetings. Um, I think it's important to note, um, uh, I am actually the uh, president of the group uh, for what, the next year and a half, two mm -hmm. years? I think you got a three year term. Uh, Gary Rooney is the vice president from Rooney and Rooney and Associates. And um, 
We have been tasked with setting up different committees uh, to be able to help put on this event. Um, everybody's welcome to get involved. In fact, to become a member of the Community Services Alliance Group, it's just $25 one-time annual membership fee and then uh, $20 a month for lunch. Um, so we do get to interact with each other. But uh, most importantly, I think, is um, we, we can always use the help. We can always use friends, right? Friends. Friends are always important. Always. Okay. And how can you become a friend? You can become a friend by being one of our sponsors. It's only $100. You get signage. You make a positive impact in your community. And you help us make a success for our sponsor this year, who is who's our benefactor this year? Uh, Senior Resource Association. All right, so you'd not only be our friend, but you'd be their friend as well. And Senior Resource Association was picked and chosen. Um, they, they applied to be the beneficiary for this year, and they provide services to support and advocate for independence and dignity of older adults in Indian River County, headed up by Karen Deagle, who is the mm -hmm. uh, CEO and president of that organization. Um, nonprofits have the opportunity uh, each year to be able to apply with us to become the beneficiary of uh, the fundraising activities that take place throughout the year. Um, we do have uh, some really great sponsors so far. We're always uh, open to having more. If you're interested in being able to get exposure for your organization, uh, we are expecting about between two and 300 people to attend, hopefully yes. more this year. Hopefully more. Um, Plenty of room out there and lots of opportunity for fun. Some of the uh, sponsors this year are A Better Solution Insurance Services, um, Advanced Motion Therapeutic, Near and Dear to Your Heart, Rooney and Rooney PA, we have Pelican Landing, Harbor Community Bank, um, the Law Office of Carolyn Butler Norton, and the list goes on and on. Um, and There's always three ways that you can get involved as a sponsor. You know, we do have our core sponsorship, which is $500. And um, we also offer a barrel sponsorship at 250 and again, being a friend is only 100 um, And there's all kinds of various little perks that go with it. Reach out to Brian or myself or any of our board members, and they'll gladly get you that information. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I got excited, I'm used to Brian. it by now. <gasps> <laughs> um, it, and actually, it's, it's only $10 to come to the event. Tickets are on sale already on our website, which is IndianRiverCSA.org. Um, there's going to be barbecue. There's going to be live music. There's going to be games. There's going to be prizes. There's going to be raffles. And you, too, can actually get your face all messed up with uh, apple pie this year. Yeah. Just like indeed. I did. We're always looking for people to sign up for that one. Except for diabetics, huh? Actually, last year we had a couple sugar-free pies for uh -huh. those that were indeed diabetic. Okay, so there you go. Diabetics, they'll have pies there for you. <laughs> you see how many you can eat, and please don't eat too many. <laughs> and I think it's important to note, too, that uh, for children five and under, they're actually free. Yeah, uh, you know, no cost for them to come to the event. We want to see the kids out there hula hooping and... Uh, listening to some music and eating some barbecue. We're gonna have a, a good time. Yeah, there'll be plenty of food. There is the opportunity to buy additional libation if you're looking to cocktail. It is a winery, but do not underestimate the value and fun for the entire family out there. Huge life-size Jenga matches going on, chess games that are the size of toddlers. Bocce. Um, bocce. Can't forget bocce. You name it, it's out there. We're having fun. We're, we're making contests. There'll be new games popping up on our Facebook page as we're announcing what and how we're going to play. Um, I'm actually thinking we really might need some kind of hop game. What do you think? What do you think about the big sacks? Potato sacks? You never know. <laughs> Still in the process, huh? Growing every day. So, um, how would someone be able to get in contact with you, Brian, if they want to get involved in the family fall fest or even get involved in the Community Service Alliance? Well, there's two ways. Um, the uh, What I think is the easiest way is uh, you can go to our website at IndianRiverCSA.org or you can reach out to me, Brian Hartman, at 772-410-0943. Anyone wants to get involved or needs services from 
the therapeutic, advanced therapeutic, how would they get you know, get involved? Oh, um, well, they would just give us a call. We're local, 772-567-8585, or even ask your primary physician about us. The well, a second of my last minute, would you like to yell out to your boss? Because uh, I'm sure they would want to hear their name on TV. We love you, Harbor Community Bank. <laughs> yeah. um, in the business of, of returning quality of life, advanced motion therapeutic. All right. With that, we'd like to thank you both very much for coming on, and we hope that those that are watching will get involved in the Fall Festival and also become a member of the Community Service Alliance or go open an account at Community Harbor Bank or get some physical therapy from Advanced Therapeutic Motion. With that, this is John May. I'll see you next week with some new information. Bye.